Review time, pot. With every bone in my body, I can tell you today that this right here is fake. I don't care who you are. You're not going to tell me otherwise. Because I know the agenda. I know the mentality. I've seen the programming. And this is just too convenient. You mad? Good. I don't care about that either. I'm here to do what's right. The largest terrorist attack, so-called, to ever happen. Just so happens at a gay nightclub. Not only that, but this is the first time Is Is has claimed responsibility for an attack on U.S. soil. First time now, out of all the other times, this is what they're saying. Now, you do know that the war on terror has been a hoax since September 11, 2001. It hasn't changed since that date. What's different now? I just told you it hasn't changed. So we already know that's crap. But what else? The gay nightclub. An agenda that has been backed by the United Nations that has been programming our populations for some time now on a continual basis. Oh, wait a minute. Somebody wants to say there isn't a gay agenda. Since I do know, this is where we go. Bill C-16 introduced May 17th on the International Day Against Homophobia, Transphobia, and Biphobia. Did you even know there was such a day? Canada just doing what they're told from the United Nations. Coming out with this bill to expand the country's hate speech prohibitions to include any public speech or communication that promotes hatred on basis of gender identity or gender expression. It would also change the Canadian Human Rights Act to cover transgender people. And you see here, United Nations. Here he is right here, this joker here, Trudeau. But what's going on here? Well, people can get put in jail, receiving up to two years in prison for saying what they deem as hate speech against transgender. Now you're saying, oh, well, I understand that. What, what are you trying to say? Well, who else got that treatment in history? Have you seen that before? Now, not just in Canada, United Nations is supposed to be a world agenda here. So let's look back. You, you know, this country right here, racist as heck. Have you ever seen there be a national non-racist day? Do you know how much hatred there was against black people? And did we ever get a hate speech law? Did you ever see people put in prison for just saying something bad about black people or any other race? You've never seen that. That tells you a lot right there where the United Nations is headed. Understand. It's not just Canada. I understand it's not just America. It's the United Nations. This is a global plan with global programming, which is why you see love is love trending on Twitter. Millions of tweets. Gays break the Internet trending on Twitter. I'm sure we will even see the gay pride flag on Facebook. You'll be allowed to upload that to your Facebook default and nothing against gays. But today and continually with this shooting and other events, y'all are being pawns. That's all it is. And it works perfect with y'all because, look, for some reason, it's like y'all kind of don't care. Even if you know something is fake, you're still going to go along with their New World Order agenda because it's giving you what you want or you think they're providing you rights or you think they care somehow and this is how they keep getting you sucked in to their agenda and this is how they get you to push their agenda it's not about you it's about what they want to do to everybody in this case it's just a self-inflicted wound so now it's to get everybody to sympathize with the lgbt community and demonize anybody who disagrees with it because we get this fake joker right here allegedly what they're saying is he saw two guys kissing 
And this is what brought on this attack to kill 50 people. Yeah, right. There's no way. That's, that's so stupid. And then at the same time, they're saying he's doing it for ISIS. So they're getting multiple agendas here. There's so many protests they got for you just served up on a platter. Let's see here. Thousands flood to donate blood after Orlando Club massacre. But scores are turned away because homosexuals are still banned from giving blood in Florida. So there you go right there. There's something you can fight for. I'm sure there will be more of those. Then we get this complete distraction. Some of y'all think y'all awake. You're going to get this joker telling you ISIS is now activating terror cells. Orlando attack is phase one. That's just go broke on my show first. We're going to show the article that ISIS has him listed right here in Texas to come after him. This is real. They have brought in hundreds of thousands of these people the last few Shut up, Joker. This is fake. So you get this type of person come out talking this fake nonsense, as he's supposed to do, and that's what he's paid for. Uh, you get his little cronies over here, crony jabronis. Look, terror cells activated across the U.S. Let's just go here. Okay, his little minions. We're going to get the little argument of Oh, Obama didn't say radical Islamic terrorism. Complete distractions, but this is how they keep you stuck in these little boxes. And of course, you get your fake accounts that are going to come out and play like they're exposing something in order to discredit people who really are exposing this crap. And if you really pay attention to them, some of them are gay. So they, they're they invested in this agenda. You think they want to expose it, but in reality, they want to see it come into fruition. It's just so stupid. All right. He also references the Boston bombing fake jokers. And then this guy calls 911 out of everybody. He don't want to call 911 and pledge allegiance to ISIS. Who's on the scene already? FBI already on the scene. They already knew about him and they were on the scene to make sure it all goes smoothly. Immediately, we get the gun control push the sell out puppets. John Legend, horrified by the mass shooting. When will we do something to prevent these killing sprees? Ellen, sobbing. Mm-hmm, yeah, right. And of course, the fake victims are already getting paid off. Look how much money they done raised already. They're trying to get a million. And you know they're going to try to get more than that. Hold on, let's, um, let's refresh this page. Refresh that page. Oh, that's where we at right now. Yeah. Pretty sad. And of course, the crisis actors are on the scene. My son is, no one can tell me where my son is. Fake joker here too. If he's been shot, if he's dead, no one knows. He's not answering the phone. But he was sitting right next to his boyfriend, and his boyfriend right. definitely was shot Put with that multiple water in gunshots mm -hmm. and taken in the ambulance. Hear yeah, what she said? He was sitting next to his boyfriend who was definitely shot. Like she's trying to convince us that the man was shot. Was shot with multiple gun with multiple gunshots. Shot and taken in the ambulance. And taken in the ambulance. Fake as heck. So the video is over, but it ain't all the way over. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Also like me on Facebook.com slash red silver J. Twitter man, Twitter man. Oh yeah, I'm also on that Twitter. Follow me on Twitter.com slash RedSilverJ. I'm on that Insta, Instagram.com slash RedSilverJ. Oh, snap. Snapchat at RedSilverJ. All I gotta say.